You know, I was thinking about something today, and it really got me to thinking really heavy. Um, seriously. I was thinking about this this weekend when I was over at, uh, I was in church and I did. It's just, you know, and don't get me wrong. I love going to church. I love getting the word of God. I love, you know, uh, be the singing with the choir or, 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 you know, or being in the choir, singing praises to the Lord. I kind of noticed something that I've been noticing for a while and one of those things is I kind of feel like I feel very let me give you a parable you know you can always be the loneliest person in the crowded field room that's something I've said for years you know and I've been in situations like that many 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 times over and that's how I feel sometimes when I'm in church and I ain't just not, it ain't just church. It's, it's, for me, the last 30 years has been kind of like that. You know. Um, let me explain a little bit. This is DJ Wolf Live. All right, guys. Now, I uh, was thinking about the difference is when I lived at home and since I've lived in D.C. I've lived in D.C. since 1988. Unofficially. Well, actually, take that back. Yeah, about 1988. About right. About 31, 31 years. All right. In the DMV. 31 years. Very long time. Uh, three decades. My third decade here. All right. I, I grew up in Ohio, Cleveland, for 21 years. I live there. All my experiences, everything I've learned, everything that's been taught to me, uh, both good and bad, I learned Cleveland. And some of the good experiences I had was uh, the camaraderie of uh, close, very close relationships with people I was very close to, like some cousins of mine I was close to at home. I had four, about three or four cousins I was very close to. I had uh, four or five good friends I was very close to. And I've been here, like I said, 31 years. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have, I don't even, matter of fact, I don't have three friends. I don't have three friends I'm, I'm tight with now. In other words, I don't have three friends. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, uh, I, 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 compiled, I compiled a list of things that I miss about home. Just off the top of my head. And I wish I had some of those comforts uh, being here in the DMV. And I, and I really, to be honest with you, I don't see those same comforts anymore. One of the con... Uh, the, uh, comforts that I had as far as one of the things I missed from my home is the fact, the fact that I did have very close relationships with several of my friends and relatives man I don't have that anymore those days are gone that you know and being that I'm up in age now it makes me very sad it really does because I'm thinking as the older you get the older you get, uh, the closer you want to have ties with uh, certain people. And I know I'm, I'm, I'm feeling now at my age, I don't have that anymore. And, and, and it's kind of weighing on me a little bit. You know, I don't. I mean, very, very few people I'm, I really, really trust and very few people that I'm really close to anymore. It's really a shame. It's really a damn shame, matter of fact, that many of the people who <clears throat> that I was close to are either no longer around or I can't get a hold of. Them. 
or they've passed away. You know, and I just feel empty. I was telling my fact, I was telling my old lady that last week. I was, I, you know, we had a big thing going on in church last week. And uh, last week and this week, both, 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 both uh, weekends, both Sundays. I just felt empty. It was, I just feel there was an emptiness, man. I know people say, well, you get joy fulfilling yourself with, with, with the uh, 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 teachings of the Lord. Okay, that's one thing. But I think I would feel that way if I felt that I was bonding. And I mean bonding. There's very few people there, too. Very few. Anyway, bonding with people like that. Of that of that ilk. But I don't. I really don't. I try. I really don't. Seriously. It's not that I don't try, either. You know? But that's another whole story. I don't even want to get into all that. You know? But I just kind of feel like... I just, just, just feel like something's empty. You know? I, I, it's hard to explain. I told my wife, I said, it's hard to explain. You know? Yeah, I, I, I like my music and stuff like that. And I still work on that stuff every from time to time. And lately, I haven't been doing any. I haven't been doing any music. I've done any music since late May. And, excuse me, in terms of my music production, I haven't done nothing. I haven't even, much bought, I haven't even bought any equipment. And I'm not looking to right now either. Well, I, actually, I take that back. I kind of am. I'm looking to look at one. And I'm debating whether I should get that or not anyway. It's a standalone. It's a, uh, Roland just came out with a brand new uh, uh, synthesizer uh, groove box, which is really good. It's actually right in my alley. Because the one thing I like about it, you can record samples and create a, your own original stuff off of it, which is a, what I really love. Uh, and I don't have to worry about having to go to specific sites to uh, download uh, uh, stuff on it and to c- continuously put firmware on it all the time. I mean, up, I mean, uh, download uh, s- uh, software all the time. It doesn't depend on software, this is kind of, which is what I love. But I don't know, just because even with that, I'm like. I was gonna go ahead and get it, and I was like, "Nah, I got, I got." It's just so much stuff that's going on right now. I don't even want to. I mean, I don't know. I just, I mean, musically, like listen to music. I don't even want to do it right now. I have no desire. I, I, it's not that I don't have. I guess in a way, I got musicians block, writers block. Maybe not so much writers block, but musician block for certain. I don't, I don't know. It's just my creativity is not my juice. My creativity juices aren't, aren't flowing anymore man, right now. It's that it's that almost at a complete standstill. It's like I don't even want to deal with it. There was somebody at church told me this this true story. I'm not going to mention the name or anything. We had a long conversation about uh, we talked about death and talked about parents dying and all of that. And uh, he told me his mom had passed away, and he was very close to his mother. And uh, just like I was kind of very close to my dad, I actually was probably close to my dad. I can honestly say I, I I was closer to my dad than my mother. We talked about a lot of things, man, and uh, things I probably could never talk to my mother about because that's another story. But she wouldn't understand, you know. She's not a man, and therefore I couldn't I couldn't relate to her with certain things. But anyway, so he, the guy talked to you know the, the church member talked to me about it, and he tell me about you know how close he was with his mom, and he said at at a point. And, I, and I, I see where he may have had his emptiness at. He said he he was so traumatized by his mother's death that he just didn't want to do nothing. He didn't want to go to work. He didn't want. He didn't want to do nothing. He didn't. He he, he got to a point he would eat. He would could sleep. He got to a point where he didn't want to go to church anymore. And I'm gonna tell you, on some level, I feel the same way. You know. Because I feel it's an emptiness that no one understands. So I think I get him and I think he got me about that. Because I kind of feel that way now. I, I mean, I have, I've grieved. And, you know, here's the weird part about it. I was home for five days. And do you know I was the only one that actually really grieved about my dad other than my brother? That was it. No one else grieved. 
Nobody. Nobody. You know? But I'm talking about full throttle. Grieving. Really? I mean, although the only time I did it was at the end, of the, it was uh, at the very end of the service. But still, you know, still, it's just the fact that uh, I, uh, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. It's just. Come on, man. What are you doing? You dumb man. These people can't arrive. I swear, these people, these people down the DMV can not arrive with two damn cents, man. He got that by the, hit the brakes. He about ain't nothing directly in front of the fool. And he go hit his brakes. Y'all people love taking chances out here. Every day is the same stuff, man. That's why I wonder why, why boy bought this car, man. But you got some ignorant drive people out here. There's a female that doing that. Anyway, probably looking for some money. But some people do. I, I talk about that on another podcast. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll be talking about that real soon. But I don't know. It's just, it's just an emptiness, you know. And maybe that's what it is. The void that was once filled is not there anymore, and that's not happening, Father. You know. And now I can, on some respect, I can see where some young people feel the way they do when the father's not there. Or, or is missing. You know what I mean. You feel hurt. You feel it's empty. It's nothing. It's like, uh, how can I put it? Which is probably why a lot of these youngers out here be like, hey, I ain't got nothing to live for, blah, blah, blah. I ain't got no dad. My dad wasn't in my life. What the hell I care? You know? And at some point, I was feeling that way. I said, I don't really want to feel that way. You know, because I'm an adult. You know? But, I don't feel that way. Not that way. You know? I mean, I'm not angry. I'm actually more hurt. But I'm not angry. Um, I'm, I guess uh, you could say I'm a little angry that God took my dad away, man. But, and some people go, you shouldn't question God. Well, on some respects, I do. I'm the only human. We question everything. We have a right to question things. You even have the right. You even have a right to question God if you needed to. Not, not uh, be blasphemous about it, but you have a right to question. You know. But I don't know. It's just. I guess that's one of the things. But it ain't just that. But I feel empty. Uh, I feel empty about. Things over the last several years, anyway. That's nothing new about that, you know. And I guess when you when your kids are grown and doing their thing, and you, you kind of feel like, wow, there's a big void there. On top of all of this, you know, you feel empty. I know somebody now whose kids are coming back to live, live, live in there with them. That I ain't looking for. I would. I mean, I mean, if, if it. Came out to something like that. that you had it was a situation where you had to have that happen, yeah. But I do feel there's a big void, you know. And it just feel I don't know. It's just an emptiness I feel, man. A, a very, very. It's like a shallow pit that you can't see, but it's bottomless, and. You know where it starts, but you don't know where it's going to end up. You know, I kind of feel that way myself right now. I don't, I don't know where it's going. You know, this emptiness. I, there's nowhere to, to to fill the void in, which is what I'm trying to say. You know, but it does make me really, really sad. I'm not going. I'm not going to lie to y'all, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm telling you right now. It's just. I had to continue to pray on it. People say, why don't you go to Bible study? And blah, blah, blah. I say, yeah, but the only thing we can do is read. People don't talk to me. I mean, I, I mean, I praise with people every Sunday at church. And, you know, 
the same people who know me after seven years. I sit there singing choirs. I sit there and uh, 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 took on different responsibilities in the church. And still, I still feel empty as hell. I do. You know, I tried to I tried to befriend people. It's, it's, to me, it's the same thing. I gave one dude, I gave my gave my whole suit, a nice suit too. It was nice, a suit I was still able to fit when I gave it to him on top of that. You know? Nah, thank you or not. He ain't never wore that most sense. But he asked for it, though. Oh, I wish I could get a suit like that. And I gave him a suit, and they, 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 you know, acted shady ever since. I said, okay, all right. See, this is what I get for trying to help niggas out. You know? Things I've done for people, man, over the years. Even my own, some of my own family members. Stuff I've done. I mean, I was, you know, I, I still got treated like shit. That shit sure hurts, man. I got to a point. I got so I got so angry, but I don't even cry about it no more. I just like not cry, but I get so angry. I don't even think about getting emotional about it anymore because I get so upset. To the point, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna live my best life. I ain't going back to fuck with y'all niggas. I'm telling you right now, I love this song. I'm I'm so glad that somebody made that record. That record spoke to me in volumes, volumes, because it's true. You know, you go out there and try to be there for for people, man. Be there for your family and stuff. And then they sit there around there and won't won't call you back. Don't want you. Don't take your call. Nothing. And then all of a sudden, as soon as they need something, then then Negroes want to answer the damn phone. You know, or won't get an attitude with you when you talk to them when they need something. I ain't got time for that no more. I'm done. I told somebody, I am done, done, done. You know, it's bad that, that you should feel that way about your own people. And I don't want to feel that way. I, I really don't. But when people start not wanting to give a fuck about you and you give a fuck about them, then what do you expect to do? What do what, what, what they expect? What else is there? Nothing. I'd rather not deal with you. You know? As much as it pains me to not being able to do which because you won't be so stupid it pains me because you being so stupid and you didn't have to be it's a damn shame my own people on top of everything else and other people I know I just shake my head every time I think about it every time I I mean every single freaking time I think about it it's like wow really damn shame, man. I mean, it's a truly, really, truly, truly damn shame. It is. It absolutely is. I mean, it's the last thing, you know, people are like, oh, well, you need to be there for your brothers and sisters. No, 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 no man bump that. You know? I, one thing I know, and I hate to say it, um, there are people who I know that I have helped in the past. There was one brother. He had, uh, I, I, I'm not going to go into great details, but I'm not going to call his name, whatever. Uh, when I lived in my old neighborhood, hell, I used to go over his house. he bring his family food. Brought him over to my house. He spent the weekend and his kids over to my house. You know, played with my son and all that, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, gave him a few dollars when he needed. You know, he was a little hard times. I don't, you know, I said, I don't know the real deal with the guy at the time. I said, like, you know, and we were kind of cool. So he moved out to my new, my, so we we moved out. He moved out a few, uh, some years later. My wife ran to him, talked to him, gave him our information. I, I talked about this thing. I talked about this before. So I called him up. I said, well, come on. So I, you know, I found that he didn't live that for about maybe less than 15 minutes from my house. Call him one night. Say, come on through. We're going to watch the game, blah, 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 blah. Watch the fight. Everything was fight. I went and got a fight. And this was probably about maybe seven, eight years ago. I don't think, matter of fact, I don't think maybe a couple years after I moved. And he uh, called him up. 
mean, he was telling me, you know, he said, oh, come on over there. He turned around and said, well, I can't get over because my wife got the car. She got the only car, blah, 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 blah. They moved out the boat, okay? We all used to, really? We all used to stay in, stay in the Forestville area, you know? But I figured this, but you live in the better neighborhood than I live in now. Really? But that's a long story short, but I didn't feel like going to get him because I had been doing him with him before when he was in the, he lived in the old neighborhood. I thought he had got a better job, so, which I heard that he did. And he's still trying to bum off me. I said, I ain't got time for it. So I'm going to continue to live my best life. Because I tried. I ain't going to lie. I tried. You know, a another guy, a uh, friend of mine, uh, the Virginia. All right? He was going through some stuff, tough times. Right? I tried to help him out. He was appreciative. We know we, we, know, we, we, we looked out for each other's families and stuff like that. And then as soon as he moved out of the state, man, you ain't hear from him no more. You know? That's how I be. That's why I said, I'm living my best life. I ain't going back to fuck with no niggas no more. I I'm sorry. And yeah, you heard me, Chris. But I, but I meant what I said. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Because every time I've ever done that, when you try to call them all of a sudden, they ain't got no time to talk to you. They don't return your call. Man, bump all that. I ain't got time for this Mickey. You know what I'm trying to say. I ain't got time for it no more. I'm not going to do this. Not going to do it because people are, people ain't right. People are foul. You know? It's one of the things I miss about uh, home, man. At least, I don't know how, how it is now, but at least when it was about people, man. People ain't about people no more. That's what it comes down to. It's one of the things I miss about home because my friends that I was really close with, they were true blue. Maybe that's why I don't have it because I don't know if any people are like that anymore. They're not like minded like I am when it comes to that. You know? There aren't people that will give the shirt off your back anymore. They expect you to, to give the shirt off your back and give it to them, and then they won't even return the favor if you need it. That's the problem. You know, if you need it, Somebody to give the shirt off, your, off their back for you when you did it for them maybe uh, maybe two, three times for them and they never return a favor or don't want to be bothered or then just all of a sudden you can't reach them when, when you need them. You know? I've been in that situation before too. You know, so I'm like bump all that. You know? I ain't going to be going out to bat for Negroes no more like I used to because they never remember what you did for them when you do it. For them, I've had that. I've had, like I said, I've had the situations like that too many times. Where you've always reached out to Negroes, and just when you need to, just just to even give them an ear, let I mean, allow a call them so they can you can give an ear about what's what you dealing with. Nothing. So I'm done. I'm serious. And, 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 and I'm gonna give a shout out to, 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 to Tommy Sotomayor. Now I know why he he the way he is. And like I said, I don't always agree with a lot of stuff he says, but I'm gonna give him his props. I'm gonna give him his major props because he's right about a lot of stuff. Y'all gonna say he coon this and coon that, but you know what? I actually watched Tommy, and this no bu bullshit. And I got two stories about that. I got a couple of them, matter of fact. I watched Tommy give away uh, uh, laptops and stuff to people. I see him do it. You know, he's helped, he's helped people out. Just for the goodness of his heart. I sat there and watched him do it. I was at a, uh, one of those uh, functions that he did right out here in D.C. Me and my son went back in 2015. I personally met Tommy. Good. I mean, nice guy, man. We talk. We talk for about. We talk, man. I mean, we talk about probably about twenty five minutes or whatever. But anyway, he went and got everybody. Uh, he said, "Whoever want to come on, he will buy everybody round drinks." The only reason why me and my son couldn't go because we had to go to work. We had jobs we had to go to. So, and I was like, "Man, one stuck around." I was like, "Damn, man, I really wanted to hang out with the brother, but I couldn't." But I, I mean, I hung out with him as long as I did anyway. So, but. He was that kind of guy. 
But I don't think he do much of that now. I don't, I don't know what he do now as far as that goes. But, but it's just the fact that I can understand why he said what he said about, about, about black, black people. And you know what? I don't blame him. I really don't. I ain't fighting on this day. I don't blame I honestly, don't, I honestly, honestly goodness, I don't blame him. Nobody want to deal with that mess. Nobody. I know damn well I don't. You know? And you go out your way for for Negroes, and then they're gonna throw you under the freaking bus. Bump that. You know, I've been I've been on that road. I've been on that road several several occasions over the years. I honestly have. I've been on that road. You know, your so-called friends and some relatives. You know, you try to help them out, and all of a sudden, you ain't never hear from them again. They don't never return calls or whatever, and then they get an attitude about because you because you that's why you return calls. They get funky with you. That fuck that, you know. And then people say, "Why you why you don't be bothered?" <laughs> really? Are you you didn't ask me that, did you? Did you did you really ask me that question? You know, that's what I'll be saying, like. You didn't. You, anyway, uh, I kind of digress, but that's 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 the way I be feeling sometimes. Honestly, honestly, and truly, I'm like, really? You just didn't ask me a question about. Uh, but anyway, and, and this is why I feel like the way I do. But then you got people. Oh my, you you can't be that way. You, you should you, you, you should ignore that and forgive me about you know. And the way I see it, I think to a degree, forgiveness has to be a two-way street. I have no problem forgiving you. But you got to atone. People don't like to atone. They just want to keep doing the same thing they're doing to you no matter what you what you say. You know, and I've had people do that. You know? I mean, true enough, forgiveness, and I've said it in, in my videos. It's really for you to be able to atone your anger so you won't have to be angry. That's what it's about. So you could tone yourself down from getting going up going up fresh off somebody's ass. Let's be honest. That's what forgiveness is about. It's really for you, not for them. Which is kind of weird. Because you're you said I have to forgive them, so I won't pop off a cork pop a cork because that's stupid you know but in some cases you have to I, I, I mean that's the reality some cases you just have to you know and I had to I was in Cleveland I had to do it I had to do it three times really four but you know And you know, because there was a lot of stuff going that week. I was like, I was just like, man, you know. I got to a point that I wanted they wanted to go kick it on Friday night, man. I was just so tired. I was like, man, I'm going to go lay down, man. I was tired. I was dog tired. I mean it was literally dog tired. You know. But um I'm just, you know, I'm just done. You know, and I can honestly say, um, even though I have not actually said that I forgive that person or persons, I just, to a point now, I'm going to live my best life. Because if I forgive you, I'm done fucking with you. I'm not going to lie about that. Very few people I forgive and forget anymore. But people know they keep doing the same mess with me and doing it and doing it and doing it after I forgave them time and time. No, nah, it's time to stop playing that game. You, you, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb messing with you. Certain people, I just won't give them that kind of pass anymore. I, I'm sorry. I won't. You know? Because it's not right. And them the same people keep on doing it over and over again. I, I mean, I'm not going to bother them. I'm just not going to deal with them at all. You know, matter of fact, uh, 
I've had conversations with somebody regarding those persons, and I don't even bring the names up anymore. You know, because they didn't want to have a relationship like they're supposed to have with me. So, I therefore I can acknowledge you. You know, I'm somewhat in, in essence acknowledging them by talking about it in, in this podcast. But and one of them pissed me off so bad, I just thought I just they were actually following one of them actually followed me on. Uh, um, my YouTube channel. I took them completely off. Don't care if they know or not. Yeah, man, you know, if you gonna carry that attitude with me, I don't. I don't want you part of my podcast. Period. Get the fuck off. Excuse my French. You know, it wasn't about the stuff that I was saying on the podcast. A lot of stuff that I had talked about was off the podcast. You know, off the grid, so to speak. And I wasn't even dancing with them. They were just dancing with me the whole time. I was like, forget it. I ain't going to be dealing with no negative ass people no more. I just can't. I cannot do it. I will not do it. I refuse. I really do. I mean, that's, that's just me. Why should you? Life is too short to be dealing with negative ass, nasty folks. I'm talking about downright in the gut, nasty people anymore. Or particularly people you ain't got to deal with no more. That's the thing. And it doesn't matter whether they're relative or not relative. Now, certain ones, like if you're the older folks, yeah, okay, younger ones, around your age or younger, I could care less. Seriously. They ain't gonna be doing that old BS. Nobody's gonna do it. Nobody gonna be doing that, 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 that you know, the humpy dump shit. Excuse my friends. I'm trying to be nice about it. You know, life is really too short to be dealing with drama. Especially with drama that's completely unnecessary. You know. Because a lot of this stuff is anymore. Wait, wait, no. Then you go back to yesterday. They said way too long. You just taking too long to turn. Motherfucker, you gonna slow that shit down, bitch. This is a 40 miles off. They they, they, they they doing that shit for asshole doing for spike. But anyway, I mean they had the guy behind me, man. Good, thank you. Talking about cops up the head. Doing that man. You got people out here that just they're stupid, man. I mean, I, I can't deal with stupid folks no more. I can't do it. I refuse. You know, because here's the thing. Now, yeah, you should forgive people. You should. But some people, it, it's, it's beyond forgiveness. And it's got to a point where you just can't deal with them at all. I can forgive you and then move on. Away from you. And not deal with you at all ever again. Especially if I don't have to. You know, because sometimes certain people like that will make you go upside the head. You know, and I ain't trying to do that. You know, that's why I'm fool with all people. I'm fool with all that BS. I ain't gonna do it. You know, just not. If I don't have to, I ain't going to. If I don't need to, I won't. I'm not gonna go see this no way, dude. It's the bottom line. It's just as simple as that. Why should you? Life, I said before, life is too short for drama and bullshit. And bullshit. And drama. And bullshit. And more bullshit. You know? Excuse my French. I wasn't trying to do this much cursing, but, you know. Sometimes it is what it is, man. People just nasty, man. You know. And I just, I just, it's just game. But yeah, the things I miss about home is 
good people, man. Good times. You know, they're, they're, they're gone. You know, it ain't the same, man, but it's, it's just the economy has changed, people's attitudes have changed, and but it's just a lot of things that, that we need to get back to. I don't think we'll ever be able to get back to anymore. Now. I would like to see it. I know people say, well, you just pray on it. Yeah, that's all well and good. But I'm going to tell you anymore, it ain't enough. It ain't enough. Nothing wrong with praying. But I'm going to tell you anymore, it ain't enough. Well, I'm to it's not. Mm, well, well. All right, guys. That's all I got. I'm a little tuckered out. I think I understood everything I needed to say for right now. Except one thing. It's DJ Wolf. I'm out. Mm-hmm.